shout out to the Daily Wire. We have to talk about an article that they just posted not too long ago where they list several public figures, including celebrities, politicians, who are all left-leaning, who just so happen to not even indirectly incite violence towards other people, but directly incite Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button, and click on the links in my description boxes uh, that I post in all of my videos. I have links to several different websites that I frequent. I am on Rumble, Parlor, um, Facebook as well. So go ahead and make sure you follow, subscribe to all of my accounts. But getting into this story, this article, it breaks down each notable public figure. And there are celebrities, there are also politicians and they give the direct quotes that this person said and they also provide video and audio of it as well um and i'm gonna go ahead and link the video and audio for each statement that was made by these particular people but we got to get into this article because because we've been hearing a lot about the inciting of violence inciting of violence they're inciting violence and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what happens when a progressive incites violence. And we know when a progressive incites violence, it's not even seen as violence because that sort of extreme rhetoric when it comes from the left, it's seen as, oh, well, there's a lot going on. They have a good reason for it. All these little excuses for why they say what they gotta say. But let's go ahead and take a look at each particular statement by each particular individual. So shout out to The Daily Wire. As we can see, it is entitled, Video Exposes Democrats Who Incited Violence Against Conservatives. Oh, no surprise to me, because if uh, anyone was paying attention as to what a lot of these left-leaning Democrats and liberal and progressive politicians were saying during the riots last summer, if you paid attention to what they were saying, um, there were a lot of things said that can be easily interpreted as inciting inciting violence or turning a blind eye to violence at the very least because people did lose their lives including police officers and, re and a retired police officer i believe as well during those riots last summer so let's not play all right so the article goes on to state that as we see nancy pelosi of course on january 13th the democrat controlled house of representatives voted in favor of impeaching President Donald Trump for the second time, the House voted on one article of impeachment against the president for the alleged incitement of violence. In quotes, encouraging imminent lawlessness action at the Capitol. Which, like I said before, he he did not tell anybody to run up in there with no zip ties. So goes on to state that. If Trump's rhetoric is to be taken as an example of encouraging or inciting violence, then the Democrats are guilty of doing the same by their own standards, of course. Goes on to state that to demonstrate the Daily Wire released a video which spliced clips of those on the left who openly called for violence with clips of, of the waves of violence that gripped American streets in 2020. Yes, exactly what I spoke of. Um, and I am going to link that video in the description box. Go ahead and take a look at it. There is some violence in it, so I'm not going to play it um, because they all they already acting funny uh, when it comes to my channel. Somebody get lightly shoved. If somebody get get this to them in a video, if somebody get touched at all in a video that I put on my channel, automatic demonetization. They don't even play with me. They see this and they say that, that that's violence. Somebody got pinched. But I'm gonna go ahead and link that, like I said. But getting to these examples, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, direct quote, she stated, I don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. So direct quote from her, Eric Holder, when they go low, we kick them. Hmm, hmm. Doesn't sound very, uh, very uh, unifying. 
Senator Cory Booker, go to the Hill today. Get up and please get up in the face of some Congress people. Hmm. So get up in the face of other politicians, which the point of this is to illustrate that when the left does it, don't nobody care. Don't nobody say anything because the mainstream media is is an extension of the Democrat Party as well as left leaning ideology. So when so when they do something to you, you deserve it. So that's their logic. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi again. We take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And sadly, the domestic enemies to our voting system and our honoring our Constitution are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue with their allies in the Congress of the United States. So she's talking about uh, um, President Donald Trump in the White House. So that's who she's referring to. So by by their own standards of inciting, inciting violence, inciting violence, you know, because they've been saying that a lot since the, since the incident on Capitol Hill, these statements so far, one can, one can, one can be led to believe that they are definitely inciting something with some of these statements. When they go low, you kick them. Sounds violent. Joe Biden, he stated, they asked me if, they asked me if I would be if I would like to debate this gentleman. He's referring to Donald Trump when he said this. I said no. I said if I were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. I would take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. And I I remember when when Joe Biden said this. I clearly remember him saying this. He said it in a room full of people when he said this. And I believe the crowd cheered. So if that's not a uh, violent rhetoric, I don't know what it is. Mickey Ruick, um, actor. I'll I'll meet him in a hotel room any any Emmer Effer day of the week and give him a a a Louisville Slugger. Kiss my mother effing ass. You b you b i t c a uh, blah a uh, punk uh, c a uh, sucker all kind of yeah. So he's really going in with with, with his rhetoric. Madonna. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Ooh, ooh. And I'm sure a lot of this is, uh, in, is in your guys' memory banks as well. All these violent statements, ooh, violent rhetoric. And then Maxine Waters. Let's make sure we show up wherever we have to show up and if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them and you tell them they are not welcome anymore, anywhere. Sounds very divisive, Miss Waters. Very, very divisive sounding to me. Andrew Cuomo, he can't come back to New York. He can't, damn. Yep, talking about Donald Trump. He's gonna walk down the street in New York, forget bodyguards. He better have an army if he thinks he's gonna walk down the street in New York. Dang, Nancy Pelosi on the list again. She is, she's always on. She, she, she got multiple quotes on this list. Sunday morning, I just came from mass, but but nonetheless, I'll, I'll just say this. If, you're, if you are in the arena, you've got to be ready to take a punch. You got to be ready to throw a punch for, your, for the children. Take a punch, throw a punch for the children. Hmm. Sounds violent. Robert De Niro, he's a punk, he's a dog, he's a pig. Well, I'd like to, to punch him in the face. All of these direct threats of violence. So many, so many. Senator John Tester. Even in states where Donald Trump won big, that that it does you any good running running away from Donald Trump. I think you need to go back and punch him in the face. I mean, the truth is this guy is bad for this country. A lot of face punching, a lot. And this is a senator saying this, Senator John Tester. A lot of face punching, a lot of face punch talk from the Democrats. Interesting. Jim Carrey, it's impossible to get away from it. You know, I had a dream the other night about that I was playing golf with Donald Trump and I was standing bes beside him with the club in my hand. I was, you know, considering my options when I suddenly woke up and 
it is one of those dreams when when you want to just get back to sleep so you can finish it you know dang man jim carrey and last but not least i actually made a video about this one um representative cynthia johnson she stated so so this is just a warning to you trumpers be careful walk lightly we ain't playing with you enough of the shenanigans enough is enough and for those of you who are soldiers you know how to do it do it right be in order make them pay cynthia johnson if the left wants to talk about inciting let's talk about inciting let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button, and blessings to you.